so this is what I have for a little fuel tank. So howdy fixers, so today we're going after the starter on this 2009 Honda Civic and you can see you got these bolts, it's a four bracket, there's a 210 right there, they're kind of blurry right now, on the other side there is a 12 that goes into the block, Let's see a little better, there it is, we're going to take that bracket off, and I've already disconnected my battery, and I have a saver on my radio and stuff, so I don't lose any memory, I have to put a new code in it, so then after I get that, I'm going to go after my... 14 bolts. I think there's a 14 so that hold the starter on. And then I'm going to be able to let down my starter so I can get to my um, battery cable end and all that good stuff that goes to the starter. So let's see what I can do. Okay, guys, so now that I got the bracket off, I went ahead and have my long extension here. And it's a 14, it goes in. I crack this one loose and then I'm going to be able to go after the top one. And this can be the long 14 bolt. Get that out of the way. Okay, fixers, so what I've done is I've gone ahead and I've taken my tire off which is three quarters and then I have a 14 wobbly that goes all the way in and hits that bolt and a long extension and then you're going to need yourself a big baker bar kind of thing like this in order to get that bolt loose because it's a super long bolt well the head is super long I'll show you when I get it out but it's just a weird bolt and it's really hard to get out because it flexes so much that you really can't get it to pop loose if it's super tight so let's see what I can do so now that it's out, you can see that when I was talking about the bolt super long and it, all this up here flexes. They made it extra thick so it doesn't flex that bad, but still, sometimes it gets, you can't get it off as super tight. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to drop her, take her other bolt out, drop the starter down, see if we can get to her main power cable. So you want to go ahead and disconnect your connector here and then you want to take your main battery cable off and then we should be able to slide our starter out of here because if you don't do it then the starter won't come back far enough to come out down to the subframe area. So you see it's coming out just kind of wiggling quite a bit back and forth, push stuff down and it will come out this way. Look at that. It's empty. Find it on the ground. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to put a new one in there so we're gonna put it in the way i took it out the opposite direction so i'll show you how to do that so going back in is just a little bit tighter but you gotta push down and you can see here it's just it's all wiggling and she's going in okay now that i have it back in i'm gonna go ahead and hook up my cable and get it in the right position to put it back in the right way so I got it back up in there, and it's kind of a pickle, but you just kind of work your way up and over like that, kind of. Um, but it's it's a pickle. But now I'm going to get my other bolt in the top, tighten those down, and then we'll start it and see what happens. So I got the battery back in place, and all this is back together, and I'm going to show you where to find your security code. Alright, so here on the glove box, at least on this one, this is 2009, your security code is right there, and it's a 62415, so... If let me have my key here in my pocket, or wherever I put it, here it is. So I'm gonna put it, turn the key on, I hit the button, it says enter the code. So I'm gonna enter 62415, and you can see it was working because it was saying code as you put it across, and that works. Um, but this is my own Pacific code. It's not gonna work for everybody. So let's see if I can go ahead and crank this thing now. Look at that. How lucky am I? So thanks for watching. Howdy fixers. So that is how you do the starter in your 2009 Honda Civic. Um, if you have any questions at all, just give me a comment down below. And if you want to suggest that video is that um, two man fans is you want a battery saver for your battery or you want to make sure you know a way to retrieve the code for your um, stereo. Because if you don't, it's a whole bunch of random roll. You got to go to the dealership. The dealership's going to tell you no. Because you got to get a VIN number and all the other stuff. It's, it's not fun. So before you disconnect the battery, make sure you have a safety precaution in the works. So you don't have to have all this headache. Um, the other thing 
is the big long bolt. Sometimes you gotta get a little bit of extra force on that really long bolt up top just because it's so long and that long bolt does stretch. And it, if it stretches, it's gonna be really hard for you to break it loose. So it does take a little bit of extra force sometimes. But other than that, pretty straightforward. Um, <clears throat> if you have any questions at all, just comment down below and uh, I'm more than willing to ask and answer any question you have about this video, any other video or any job you're working on. Um, doesn't even have about this. I, you know, like a head scratch or two. So if you like my video, give me a like, give me a subscribe. Uh, first time coming across it, this is what I do. I just make videos more insightful for people and give you kind of the tips and tricks and easy know-how that anybody really does needs for, you know, um, basic knowledge of working on cars and stuff. Cause it's something that you're not necessarily, you learn right away. It, comes with time and patience and lots of lots of mess ups but i got a little bit of a little bit of extra information for people to share so um thanks for watching and uh, really appreciate it and have a good one